60 billion. As I write in a post on WSJ.com today, that 60 billion number is the most important number in the growing fight between the U.S. and Mexico, between President Donald Trump and Mexican leaders over the complex relationship between those two countries. 60 billion dollars is the amount of the trade deficit the U.S. is running annually with Mexico. That's the number that President Trump has used to buttress his argument that the North American Free Trade Agreement has been a bad deal for the U.S. and be, needs to be renegotiated, particularly with Mexico. But that 60 billion figure also represents a more complex economic arrangement than the top line number really suggests. And here are three reasons that's the case. First, $60 billion is, in fact, the size of the deficit in goods that the U.S. runs with Mexico every year. And that's a very real number and a real political weapon, as Donald Trump discovered during the campaign. But it also masks the fact that, at the same time, there's a separate trade in services between the two countries. And on that front, the U.S. actually runs almost a $10 billion surplus. So it's not just goods. It's goods and services that count in this world as well. Secondly, oil makes the, the calculation complicated. A lot of the deficits with Mexico over the years have come, not because we're importing importing Mexican manufactured products, but because we import Mexican oil. That's even changing as the U.S. increasingly levels that out by exporting natural gas and refined products to Mexico. But energy is a big part of that, and it's a complex part of it. it does not reflect manufacturing. And third, 40 percent is a number to keep in mind as well. A lot of products that come from Mexico to the U.S. have, on average, perhaps 40 percent of their components that were actually made in the U.S. So if a Mexican product comes into the U.S. and 40 percent of its components were made in the U.S., that counts as a Mexican import. But in a way, it's re-importing uh, American products that have been manufactured to final form in Mexico. So it's a more complicated number than that. All of this is, goes to suggest not that there's a trade issue with Mexico, there's a very big one, but that the numbers that are thrown around don't reflect the underlying complexities of what is really now a North American economic marketplace.